This is an electric globe that can directly express the relationship between the Earth-E's rotation and revolution. It can restore the state of the Earth-E's rotation and revolution by driving the motor, and can also see the astronomical phenomena simulated by the Sun and the Earth. Function Description Revolution Button Rotation Button Sunlight Switch Power Switch Rotating Dial Solar Azimuth Hemisphere Revolution Dial 1. Rotation Press the power switch and the rotation button. The globe rotates from west to east to Rotation Dial The number on the rotation dial is expressed as 24 hours. The rotation pointer rotates synchronously with the Earth. And the number pointed by the rotation pointer is the user's point of time 3. Revolution Press the power switch and the sunlight switch. Half of the Earth is day. And the other half is night. Press the revolution button again. And the light rotation represents that when the Earth revolves around the Sun. The Sun is in different directions on the Earth. 4. Revolution Dial Above the revolution dial is the Sun's orientation hemisphere. And the yellow side represents the Sun's orientation. The hemisphere direction can be manually adjusted. And the revolution pointer points to the Sun direction. Introduction 1. Press the power switch A and the sunlight switch B and see that half of the Earth is day and half is night. 2. Manually adjust the Sun's azimuth hemisphere F, so that the revolution pointer H points to the date on the revolution dial G3. Press the revolution button D to make the brightest point of the direct sunlight point consistent with the revolution pointer H to stop the revolution of the Sun for Manually rotate the globe, and the Earth turns from west to east. Wait for the user's city to turn to the sunrise boundary and stop rotating 5. Manually rotate the auto-rotation dial E to align the sunrise time of the user's city with the auto-rotation axis pointer I. 6. Press the rotation button C. The Earth will rotate automatically and you can intuitively see the alternating day and night in the user's city. For example, take the user in Beijing on October 1st as an example. 1. Adjust the sun's azimuth hemisphere on the revolution dial so that the revolution pointer points to October 1st. 2. First press the power switch and sunlight switch, and then press the revolution button, so that the brightest place of the direct sunlight point is consistent with the revolution pointer and then release the revolution button to stop the revolution 3. Manually rotate the globe to make the city turn to the day-night boundary and stop rotating 4. Does the sunrise time of October 1st is 6 o'clock in Beijing? Manually rotate the rotation dial and align 6 hours with the rotation pointer 5. Press the rotation button. You can see the 24-hour day and night situation of Beijing on October 1st for 365 days in a year. The Earth rotates and revolves around the Sun at every moment. So the changes of day and night are different from moment to moment. The rotation of the Earth creates day and night. The day-night boundary line can directly see the regions with daylight at the same time, and also reflect the time difference between day and night in different areas. The revolution of the Earth produces seasonal changes. Vernal equinox. One. The point of direct sunlight shines on the equator. 2. The temperature at the direct point is higher. 3. The day-night boundary just passes through the Earth-East rotation axis and the north and south poles. And the time of day and night in the northern and southern hemispheres is equal to summer solstice. 1. The direct point of the sun shines on the Tropic of Cancer. 2. The days are long and the nights are short in the northern hemisphere. While the days are short and the nights are long in the southern hemisphere. 3. The northern hemisphere temperature is high in summer. The Southern Hemisphere temperature is low in winter, autumn equinox. 1. The point of direct sunlight shines on the equator. 2. The temperature at the direct point is higher. 3. The day-night boundary just passes through the Earth's rotation axis and the North and South Poles. And the time of day and night in the Northern and Southern Hemispheres is equal. Winter Solstice. 1. The point of direct sunlight shines on the Tropic of Capricorn. 2. The days are long and the nights are short in the Southern Hemisphere. While the days are short and the nights are long in the Northern Hemisphere 3, the Southern Hemisphere temperature is high in summer. The Northern Hemisphere temperature is low in winter regional range of direct sunlight point. When the globe rotates, the point of direct sunlight always shines on the center of the globe. 
because the Earth is in the oblique rotation. It can be very intuitive to see the point of direct sunlight has been moving between the Tropic of Cancer and Capricorn, polar day and night. When the Sun is directly in the Northern Hemisphere, the Earth rotates for 24 hours, and the Arctic region is the Sun's illuminated surface. So polar day phenomenon occurs. When the Sun is in the direction of the summer solstice, the point of direct sunlight is at the Tropic of Cancer, and the area of daylight is maximum. The South Pole is in the opposite 